Hello and welcome everybody, it's the real Nemesis here, bringing you a Minecraft video where I'm going to be showcasing the survival world I started a couple of months ago. Um, I was going to record it all initially, as you saw, I was uploading an episode a day. Um, it wasn't really getting much, many views, and I wasn't really doing much, they were pretty boring episodes, so I didn't record. Anyway, I'm going to show you around there what I made of this world after I played it for a long time. And this would have been about 200 episodes, 300 episodes if I'd have recorded 10 minute episodes every time. It took a long time to do everything. So I'm going to do a 10 minute episode, maybe two episodes showcasing the world. Then I'm going to carry on to fight the Ender Dragon and um, complete the game. So here is the base island as you remember. This is where we started. It was all dirt and the last time you saw it there was chickens here, I've done a lot of changes. Okay, so, I'm gonna start first of all with the initial house, which is here. I have just, these are random drop chests that I use to drop stuff in. Obviously, uh, the furnace and the crafting table. I have the diamond chest with diamond tools and diamonds in, and emeralds. I have, this is my redstone chest with all my minecart stuff, and redstone. These are two other random drop chests, and my anvil, obviously. So I go upstairs to here, which is where I've got the bed, and two little chairs I made. A small balcony with water on either side, looking over the hill. And on the way back through, there's a small door through to the chest room, which is where I keep most of the stuff. I've got a stone chest with hoppers, so that's two stone chests, food, mob drops, um, wood, ingots, glass, dirt, and eggs. I do have half a double chest really full of eggs that should be going in a chicken farm somewhere over there, but I haven't built that yet either. Which brings me down to the enchanting room on the island, which is just a small room with the enchanting table here. That's where I do most of my enchanting stuff. Well, it's not anymore actually because I don't use XP here. Which brings me, that's really the end of that whole building, apart from obviously this side here. Through under this side we have the nether portal, which is quite an important part of the actual island house. So under on this side I have a small other balcony. And this chest is the minecart chest. Now this chest is basically just a chest that gets full of random stuff. And I'll show you how it works in a second. I have this brewing room up here where I do all the brewing along with all my brewing ingredients. I have this small fountain that I made out of glowstone and this is another room. It's a smelting room that I have for um, automatic smelting and the way it works is you put any kind of fuel in here so I've got chuck coal and charcoal at the moment in there. You put anything you want to smelt in here. It goes through a series of hoppers into either this chest here or this chest here. And onto two furnaces on either side at the moment smelting potatoes. Those get passed into hoppers that lead them into here where most of everything that has been smelted gets sent back into here. The only way this thing can break is if you put a smelting ingredient into the fuel chest. That won't break now obviously because nothing leaves the fuel chest apart from coal. That's because there is two subsequent fuel chests here and here where I keep all the other coal. So leading out of this room I will now show you the minecart system I have going on for between all my farms and my mine. So this is the room where the minecart comes in. It's a minecart with hopper. It drops through all these hoppers. It comes up to here and bounces back. I did have a redstone clock running in here. That's why there's this much space that turned this torch off and stopped the hopper. But it kept running over itself and finishing and then ending up stopping the minecart for a long period of time. So I just added extra hoppers in and it emptied anyway. It can only pick up. 20 items at a time, the minecart with hopper, obviously it's passing under a double chest, it can pick up 2 items every time it passes under, it passes under each double chest twice, there are 5 double chests, so it picks up 20 items at a time. Um, which brings me to my 
two farms. I have a potato farm which harvests about two stacks of potatoes when replanted, and the same amount of carrots in a carrot farm. So if I follow down this way, I will go to. I'm just going to jump down. It's the middle of the night. If I follow down this way, it leads me to this stairwell that has the minecart in it, and this subsequently leads to here which leads down here, it's only one block to my left which leads to this corridor here the minecart runs all the way down here, hopefully we'll see it running it usually is most commonly seen running along this track here it runs all the way down here and <coughs> it picks up from the farm chest it picks up from this chest which is a sugarcane farm chest, a small sugarcane farm chest, here it comes there it is it picks up from this chest here, which is a nether wart farm chest, which I need to take all of this stuff up. It picks up from this chest, which is just a drop chest for general stuff. It still comes all the way down this hill here, and picks up from this bottom chest, which will have just random ores in it, golden iron at the moment. So, Obviously now I head all the way back up. I'm not going to take the minecart because it bounces against itself and it does take. It can be used for transport if you take the hopper one off. Um, I prefer not to use it for transport because I don't like using it for that kind of method. I do have an end portal nearly complete to finish to get to the end. That is down in a fortress underground down about nearly a thousand blocks in the direction I'm running so I'm not going to go there this episode because I have other things to show you I have built an... I could actually do that at the bottom of the cave that would make my travels much faster but um... anyway I might I might do that next episode but anyway back to showcase and obviously I still have the ladder that goes up the uh, up the wall to the island and back here. So I'm gonna now take you to the across the bridge back towards the farm and I'm gonna run over towards where I have another spawner. I do have plans to get some kind of transport across to this um this mob spawn trap it's a skeleton spawn trap and I have plans to get the transport across to there, but I haven't done anything yet. I don't have enough gold to make minecart everywhere, so... At the moment I'm looking for gold, and if I'm facing the Ender Dragon I need gold and apples, so I need to save gold for that. Um, and apart from mining, my best source of gold is actually going to the nether and killing as many pigmen as, as I can, and then coming back, and they're not really spawning near where my nether building is. So, that's awkward, but if I follow this line of torches here, um, I don't actually need this line of torches now, but they're still here because they were being placed down on the way back from when I first found this mob spawn. But if I follow my line of torches just over this hill, you will see that there is some more stone brick building here, just into the side of this wall. And it was literally just pointing out there's an enderman there and I could do with killing him, so I'm going to. He's teleported away before I could look at him. That's just great. I have a small drop just there. And obviously, as you just heard, here is the spawner in a room that goes down here. Lifts them up and puts them back here again, where I can kill them. And the way I've set it up is so that hoppers will actually pick up the drops and drop them into this chest here. Um, that's where I keep all my skeleton drops. I have had diamond chest plate off them and I did enchant it. I plan on fixing it at the um, anvil but I haven't really done anything yet. Down here I have another small enchanting room just for if I need to do quick enchantments from getting the XP from the farm. 
if a skeleton does get stuck on the top, I just jump up to where he can see me through that little gap and then walk to the side. He will fall on me back. That is the alarm for 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to go slightly over just to show you, take you back to the base. And to take you back to the base, I use this um, nether portal. So, using nether portal mechanics, what is it, 1440 blocks? So 1,440 blocks within each other on the overworld will transport you to the nearest nether, port nether portal. So I can use this to go in one nether portal in one place and respawn back at the home in the other place, which is why I keep all my arrows that I have collected from the skeletons, usually in the nether. I'm going to end the video here, and in the next video I will show you the fortress that the end portal is in. Hopefully I'm going to kill another enderman so that I can get um, my last eye of ender for the end portal. Then I just need to get, I just need to make diamond armor and take a bow and lots of arrows to the end. Maybe a pumpkin head. And we will be killing the ender dragon. I'm going to do a showcase of thingy. I'm going to build another portal at the bottom of the uh, cave just for easy transport back up. Seems like the best way to do it. And uh, then I don't have to really mess around. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment for what you want to see. If you want to see more of these minecarts, farms, mob spawns, buildings, I can do a tutorial on how to make this automatic smelting machine. Um, I just know how to use a lot of hoppers. Really easy to use, really useful. So I can do all of that. I will see you guys in the next video.